What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man. Y'all remember the epic clash between Wack 100 and Brick Baby on DJ Academy Stream? Wack 100 is accusing Brick Baby of being a fed because he got caught with an AK 40 during a federal raid when they was looking for his phone and he's wondering why hasn't brick baby been to court but brick baby says the da rejected the case simply because it wasn't enough evidence to prosecute him in the first place right also whack 100 asked a question about the dirt case man and he's asking will dirt cooperate man to receive a lesser sentence in this situation why because the charges are so egregious man he could possibly get life without the possibility of parole man ghost says dirt won't tell but bullet scotty says eventually look dirt will succumb to that federal pressure it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to wag 100 shout out to bullets got it this is getty radio let's go let me ask you exactly right? What's up with Brick Baby, man? Why he was panicking like that when 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 OTF? Exactly. You know, he might be a rat. Know he, yeah, he know he know we we you know we already been called down the cop and court. And they ain't, ain't no motherfucking DA reject. So he he fucked up. Wow. When he was talking to me. Cause now I didn't got it to commit to certain shit. I had old Reggie Wright call right on in there with his car. Hey, wait. The first, last day, date of birth, he said the AK-47 was a DA reject. Wow. Which I very seriously doubt in the state of California because the gun is illegal Exclusive. in the state, right? So, and then he admitted that the warrant was for electronics. He admitted they've been on him. They said they've been on him since March, a month after he made the statement to the world that them niggas had anything to do with the wow. crime. And shit. So, what, was on so that's was why he was, drug. that's why he looked worried on camera. That's why he was worried on that phone, huh? He said it. And then now that number He kept phone, changing his conversation number, too, bro. Uh, he, 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 uh, and then, you know, he on camera telling Quan no, he got to check in. You know, the number four, they say, is a local LA guy that was dropping a location to the other niggas. As soon as Quando got back to Georgia, he dropped the flag. Wow. So it was like he thought he was But up. the weird wow. part about it is that he said that the Brick Baby dude said that if it was us, we don't miss. Like, what is that about? See, hey, hey, whack. Talk, that's why. I don't even make hey, that's why. Talk, that's bro. why I say, man, they can say what they want about whack 100. But one thing I tell motherfuckers on this clubhouse shit, when he say these niggas is rats, he, he, he ain't lying. I've been telling niggas for a year, yo, Brick Baby, where your court date? I've been screaming this shit since June 23. He didn't know how I knew he went. I said, bro, you got arrested June 23rd, bro. What a court date. Now he admitting he had a court date in July. Okay, what other court date? What a DA rejected it. When? Because just six months ago when I had you in your fillers with DW Flame, you said, I don't know how whack be doing this shit, but I'm going to, I go to court next month. I'm going to show my shit. So when did they DA reject you, motherfucker? Wow. Felonies got three years on a DA reject, not 12 months when they DA rejects. And, and you know what's so crazy, Wack? Like, that's how you got that bitch ass nigga stutter box, Wack. You got him the same. Same way. Then he admitted that the feds was there on the search warrant. That's a fact. He admitted Brick it. kept changing his damn story. That the shit don't add up, bro. They rated Brick. They rated Brick. Yeah, they rated it. Bro, they got on me in March. And February, you the one said what you said. You told the world, nigga, OTF has something to do with it. Nobody was thinking about the niggas. Yup, and they got the replay. They got caught on replay saying that dumb shit. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> it's crazy, though, but you know what's so crazy? <clears throat> and this is what I tell people, is that when you look at these dudes like Brick Baby and all these dudes, they be screaming and yelling, snitch, snitch, snitch. This nigga's a rat, he police. They be the main motherfuckers that be police, man. That nigga Brick got up there, bro. The whole world thought it was a bad weed deal with some Armenians and Persians. That nigga got up there and said, they can't slay this fly for King Von no more. Who? Yeah, you know, and said the nigga name. Nobody, he's the first one to ever say that shit. That, and that happened they before got on the him in March. interview. They got, yeah, they got on him in March. 
raided his crib in June for electronics. For electronics. They raided his crib in June for motherfucking electronics. And with them looking for that, they find the K. Dang. Now remember, the feds is there for the electronics. He said they still ain't released his phone. He go to court in July for the K. No more court dates. And I ain't even seen the July. We can't even find a July court date. Man, he went from saying he was in Atlanta to saying he was in LA to saying he was in Houston. Houston. Like, what the Houston. fuck? How can you be at all these places at once? Like, you're not the duplicator. But you know, but you know son, Whack? It's going to be yeah. a bit he's going to disappear on this. Just watch, Whack. Man, let me tell you something, bro. The sick part about it is I tell people, it's just content. Don't nobody give a fuck, bro. It's just content, my nigga. You got a few of them pockets. Detroit, Chicago right pocket in, in in philly or new york you know what i'm saying right pocket in la that if they catch your ass they might do something to you but overall overall niggas are seeing nigga, they be like oh yeah that nigga telling them out <clears throat> back in the day who telling that nigga, a nigga felt obligated to do something to the nigga, brother he told him or not. nobody give a fuck no more but it's a few pockets and if they take it personal in any kind of way they will do something to you but Rick is crazy. He tried to bully a dude for having a no jumper tattoo. But there's a video of you getting Ooh. yoked up. Rick, I forgot to do had a no he somebody had a no oh, jumper tattoo on the side of his head. They was trying to bully this dude in the interview, bro. Now let me ask you something. What you think? Let's just say it's all bad for dirt. And they tell dirt mm -hmm. when you're looking at life. But if you help us, you give us the information on these five bodies, we'll give you twenty. What you think you're gonna do? Uh, I think Dirk, and I'm going to be honest, Wack, I think Dirk, gonna, he going to do it, Wack. And the reason why I say that, because Dirk ain't never had this type of pressure, Wack. This federal pressure is different, Wack. He's 32, so 20, <laughs> he be out when he, when he 40, he be out 50. 50, yeah. He be out at 50. They tell him, we'll let you keep your money. We won't freeze your assets. Keep us five bodies, this information on these five bodies. We get you, get you 20. Put you over here on the PC yard. You won't see nobody. You know, you be out when you're 50. If not, we going to seize all your assets. Give you this. I don't, I don't think Dirk going to do it. I don't think he'll do it. I Dirk, just, Dirk. I just, I just, I just don't. He, I might be wrong, but I just don't get that vibe from him. I don't I think he'll do it. <laughs> you got to look. You know, you know why I vote ghost? Hey, let me tell you something. I didn't see niggas become all kind of shit in the Hey, that's fact. Body. That's a whole fact, bro. That's why I say it could happen. But just from what, what I'm seeing and shit I know, I, I don't see it happening. It might do happen. Needs, because anybody needs, could do listen, that. Because you got to remember, when he get out, ain't nobody going to give That's him, facts, right? though. That's facts. Niggas ain't doing nothing to no rats no more. Ain't nobody. Nah, gonna, ain't look, nobody man. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk going to look at it like gonna eat him. Uh, I'm going to look at it like this. Whether he stand tall and beat it or get down and get out. he I don't believe he ever going back to Chicago. Nah, he ain't going back to Chicago. <laughs> I don't believe he ever going back to Chicago. He, he never going back to Chicago. He going to stay in California, and that's about it. He not going to Chicago. I don't think that nigga ever going back to Chicago. What you bro. think the percentage of he can beat it? What percentage you think he can beat it? Well, I mean, he ain't been charged. I, I really just looking at everything. They ain't even dotted the nigga like I, I, I don't. You know, it the way it look and what it, the, what the real facts is two different things. It's gonna come down to, you know, these shooters who, who speaking his name and and are they? Yeah, crazy? but whack the hits, <clears throat> the the shit that they saying Dirk is they accusing him of is a is a hit on the dog going on or postal worker, man. I don't know nothing about Lewis that. Newest one. I, I know just everything. saw that. That's the about... nigga baby mama. That's the nigga baby mama. Yeah. That's that's the shooter nigga baby mama. Yeah. Who had the wire. Yeah. Well, see, that happened when he was doing the 12. Yeah. yeah King Yellow spoke on that when he came on the thing. He said the nigga been mad about that since he been in jail. So, you know, again, he was, you know, I don't know. The nigga was in jail. Is it something he heard? You know what I'm saying? Like, that you that know, nigga got like down or some J. Reed shit, whack. That nigga came out of jail at a war why that and i don't think dirt gonna be verbally having a conversation i don't with think him that either. about he did that knowing that's his bait you know what i'm saying like so you know we gotta see if they're gonna indict the nigga. right now he just they just snatched him because they thought he was gonna run he in there on a complaint so wow so they really and just because they don't indict him 
Don't mean it's over. You know, they'll let you run free for a while. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 speaking on Brick Baby once again, man, says that he had Reggie Wright to go down there to the Compton court to pull his files because Reggie Wright was a Compton police officer back in the day. So he still got some connections. He can get some paperwork. He can look at some judgments. He can pull some sealed files, I suppose. And he says that Brick Baby lied about having a DA reject on his federal gun case man with an 8k 47 now considering the fact that he's already a felon right it is highly unlikely for him to get a da reject when it comes down to catching a gun case really the feds don't play when it comes down to guns and things like that especially when it comes down to felons getting caught with guns right they will throw your ass in jail fast on situations like that man and any of you have ever caught a fed case as far as a gun is concerned if any of you listening to my voice right now who has any experience was dealing with the feds as far as being on the other side of the law getting caught getting hemmed up facing a trial and going to prison right have you ever heard of anybody who was already a felon getting caught with a gun like an ak-47 getting a da reject on their case man let me know in the comment section man because it's very interesting to me to know if this is a possibility or not man we already know man that when it comes down to certain prosecutions like da's do have their own discretion judges have their own discretions and not all the time do they go by guidelines man i guess that's what ti said when it came down his case y'all remember when ti got caught with all that stuff them silences machine guns and things like that he said that federal guidelines are suggested and they don't have to actually go by or abide by those guidelines man they can use their own discretion i don't know man that's just what he said so maybe in brick baby's situation in brick baby's case the da used his own discretion and said hey man this isn't worth my time this isn't worth anything right here or did brick baby cooperate give up some information and say hey man i will work for you guys if you just don't throw me in jail for this situation i got some dirt over here i am a rolling 60 i know what's going on with this situation i know what's going on with that situation and i can help you guys after hand dirty gangster violent criminals and that is also a good possibility that that could have happened as well right only time will tell man but it has been a very interesting year man look at Lil Dirk man caught up in another case man and I think he's gonna tell I'm just gonna be honest with y'all man I think Dirk is gonna cooperate in this situation but if he stands tall then I guess he understands the code of the streets and he says hey man I done did a lot of dirt I done lived my life I done killed a lot of people allegedly I had Quando Rondo or tried to get Quando Rondo killed my guys didn't stand tall for me my guys didn't handle it the right way my guys didn't do it the right way everything points to me i am the head of the snake so the feds is going to try to get me before they get anybody else and they're going to give everybody else a deal why because they only want me right the da is going to look really good getting a prosecution and a conviction on a rapper a superstar rapper like Lil Durk. and let this be a lesson to you guys out there man still thugging want to be gangsters aspire and current right you're not getting away with this stuff man the streets is dead bro technology is your enemy man you out here trying to commit murders drive-bys kill folk scamming using credit cards whatever however you're doing it man you're gonna get caught why because technology is gonna defeat you man you're already caught before you even do it that's how savvy technology has gotten today man so i will say this man let the beast die yeah take your l if little dirt would have just took the l and said man you know what man i'm done man i'm done with this i'm successful i'm flying private jets all over the world i'm getting all of this money i done changed my life i done changed my circumstances my family's life yes my hitter king von did get executed the boy down south won them down south country boys got me so if he would have just said man forget that man but he couldn't take the l Allegedly, he couldn't take the L, man. He couldn't let the country boys, he couldn't let the Georgia boys defeat him. He had to go out and try to get his henchmen to take vengeance upon him. And now he's paying the price and he's paying a dear price. Why? Because he's about to lose all of his freedom and he's about to find out. Them shooters ain't gonna be loyal to him, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. This has been Getty Video. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.